Hi guys, and we have Buncha here. She's making a whole <laughs> bunch of drama. Um, but yeah, we're on our way to Hobush today, so I wanted to show you guys. So come with us and Buncha. Say hi, Buncha. So we are going to start with the drive over there. We do have our own car, so we drove over there. You can rent your own car or I would recommend if you're only one or two persons to take the bus. You have buses with Wi-Fi and AC. They're pretty comfortable and they're not expensive at all. Or you can hire private transportation but this is going to be a little bit more expensive. And you're going to get all the way to the pier and then you have to take a ferry. It's going to be a 25 minute ferry. It's the only way into the island and it's not as nice as the ferries in Cancun. But it's pretty comfortable. We were taking Boncha, so we had to go upstairs. But there's the downstairs with some sh uh, shade, and it's a little bit more comfortable if you want to take the downstairs seat. However, once you do get into the island, the only way to move around is going to be to walk around, or you can take a taxi. But there was a long line, about 45 minutes. So we just decided to walk because everything is just really close by. And of course, the first thing we had to do was have a beer at the sunset. So we walked over to the pier, it was only like four blocks away. And then we sat down at this nice little bar right at the um, end and it was just such a cool vibe everybody was chilling they had music they had no issues with Boncha being there and god it's the sunsets and cold blush are something amazing <laughs> Good morning everyone, so today we're walking out, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the streets. Um, everything is dirt, <laughs> but it's nice, let me show you. cute restaurant it had a lot of potential we saw it and it was nice but the service was just so slow they did have the drinks the glasses were really cool but the drinks tasted just too strong so yeah it was not that great so we just went around and cruised around and the cruising was very nice So in case you don't know, Hobashi is a very, very small island and they do not allow cars. So the only thing you can drive around are these boogies. We rented out one for just a couple hours. We just wanted to go around and two hours was more than enough. To be honest, it was even more time than we actually needed. Those are the taxis that take you around. This is like the main square. So this is where you find all the taxis. You'll find all the stores around it. And then we decided to just head out. There's like a this you can find a lot of Airbnbs and small hotels. This is like a centro. This is where the best restaurants would be, I would say definitely, and all the stores. But then we decided to just cruise around and go check the hotels that are gonna be in the hotel zone. So this is the area of the hotel zone, which is like the street all in front of the beach. Like I mentioned before, it was raining. Uh, so unfortunately the beach wasn't that nice because Otherwise, the beach would have been absolutely beautiful. But because of the rain, there was a lot of sargassum. You can see there like the mountains of sargassum. So yeah, the, the beach was definitely not something nice. And so if you're staying in these hotels, I would say definitely stay in a non-rainy season. Otherwise, it's not worth it. These hotels tend to be very expensive because of this beach. But if you don't have the beach, then it's uh, just further away from town. You have to walk further to get everywhere. So it's really not worth it if you're not gonna have a nice beach to stay at this hotels. But otherwise, the beach was still pretty nice to be in. Um, it was smelly, <laughs> you know, the sargassum. They didn't pick up the sargassum, but I'm guessing because they don't have any garbage or anything. So um, yeah, that's a good thing to take into account. Look at those mountains. It was really uncomfortable. We stayed in the center and it was way, way better than this. Okay guys, so we've been um, going out for a lot of walks and stuff like that. I have to say, if it's rainy season, you might not want to come here. It hasn't been bad. I mean, we've we've managed. You can walk everywhere. There's taxis that will take you anywhere. The bars are super fun. The vibe is... But there's a lot, a lot of sargassum. So you don't really enjoy the beach. It's like mountains of sargassum. Like I'll show you in the videos. And it's just muddy. 
money. So yeah. like, I feel like for this experience, it's better for this month to go to Isla or even Cancun or Playa. Um, but it's definitely nice. I mean, the vibe is amazing. If you want that small town, nice bars, good service kind of vibe, this is this is a very good place to come with. Um, everywhere is pet friendly. Well, most of it. Not not the fancy hotels, but then everywhere else, I've been able to take Bonja with me. She's been in restaurants and bars, drinking with us, so that's really nice too. But yeah, uh, let me show you guys a little bit more. So a lot of things might go wrong or whatever, but one thing that's always on point is gonna be the sunset. You always wanna want to see the sunset in Hull Blush. Let me show you guys, it's amazing. at this uh, smaller restaurant and it had AC so that's why we went in there because it was really hot but it's pretty nice it had live music some TVs if you want to watch the game so yeah overall it was really nice and to finish up I'm just gonna show you guys our Airbnb so you can check out the things that you get this Airbnb actually looks pretty good in pictures and in videos uh, I will say however it was kind of dirty it had so much potential the Airbnb itself was beautiful but so little on cap they had this huge TV which we really appreciated and this um, living room which was really comfortable too you actually can sleep two people over here and then on the outside there had this beautiful pergola with like its private pool but the pool was definitely not clean and the pergola was full of bugs they seem to have a little bit of issue with bugs we did find some roaches in this Airbnb but you know, it was, it was good. I mean, if you don't mind a little bit of bugs, then this is a place, but we did find roaches in the shower. So yeah, it was kind of comfortable for us to be showering. I had to shower in like clothes on, shoes on, everything on. And my husband didn't even shower because he couldn't stand that roaches just coming out of the sewer. And the AC upstairs really didn't cool down. So it was very hot upstairs, which really sucks because the room was beautiful but it also had like this crazy amount of mold behind that white furniture that you can see over there. And there was so much mold over there. I, I'm not even gonna show it. But yeah, it's it's a beautiful kind of vibe and you can find a lot of this type of Airbnbs in Holbacho. Okay, so closing thoughts, Holbacho is beautiful. We did get the rain. It was definitely not the best experience I would recommend. If you wanna go to Holbacho, go between November and June is when there's less rain here in Itana so you're gonna enjoy it so much more because we were money all day. Uh, there was a lot of times where we had to go back to the house and we didn't get to experience that beautiful crystalline water. So we definitely, we're going back in December and check it out. But it's definitely the vibe, it's super peaceful. Everybody's super nice. You feel safe everywhere. The food is amazing. The people are amazing, so I would definitely recommend it. I don't know if for families, because I think kids might get a little bit bored. It seems like more of a, you know, hype, uh, adult kind of vibe. Not very expensive, but still pretty nice and still in development. So if you like that kind of small town vibe, this is your place. But yeah, this is Hobaj, guys. I'll be uploading some more videos. If you want me to visit a specific place in Tenero or a specific hotel, please do comment here. Um, and all your questions that you have, just comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be happy to make more videos for you guys. So thanks for watching all the way here.